Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. Um, we're going to get straight into a quite um, deep um, emotional video um, about um, a young woman called Jenny's Heart who was gangbanged by eight pedos when she was 15 and they gave her um, grey goose and orange juice. So it's pretty deep. We're going to get straight into the uh, basically the video and I'll comment as you go. Hey, um, you might be traumatized from watching porn at such a young age. Not traumatized, groomed, but not not traumatized. Okay. I think that I don't think that it, kids should be watching porn for sure because right. it can mold the mind crazy. Like right. I didn't even know sex was for the pleasure of females. I thought that sex when I was growing up was just for men to please men. So I learned like at 22 that that's not how it goes. <laughs> right. But yeah, I don't think. No, I don't think it traumatized me. I, I was molested, though, but I don't think porn traumatized me. A lot of other things traumatized me on that path. Okay, so like what? If it wasn't porn, was it the... the well, the first time I had sex, I had sex with a grown man, and I got pregnant the first time I had sex, and then I had to get an abortion. So that kind of okay. me up. That okay. was like started my downhill spiral. I got into a fight. I was on probation from 12 to 16, in and out of juvie, and just wilding out, you know. I didn't understand Jesus. what was going on, but clearly I was. That's not a good start um, to life. What she had, um, what she'd been through, um, it does make you wonder sometimes where her parents was, because she was allowed to be out um, around uh, adults as a child. Um, some things to us don't make sense because sometimes we don't know. The, um, the full story but um, I just find it sometimes off key that she was allowed to roam the streets, go out with adults, do what she wanted to do and her parents weren't around. I don't get that. And you know crying out for help it was crazy so. Now uh, do you have any siblings? I have four. Okay. Yeah I have two older two younger sisters all girls my mom had five girls, and she was a single mom, so, yeah. And what's your relationship like with? I don't talk with my mom. Okay. I don't talk with her because she put me in a lot of traumatic situations, and she's not ready to come to terms with that. Okay. And she's really really. I'm not being funny. That has a lot, lot, lot to do with it. I didn't want to comment till I actually heard it, that she didn't get on with her mom, and her mom put her in situations. So that says it all she's seen a lot in a young life and so sometimes she'll go through life thinking that's okay and get traumatized on it and then um obviously want to correct herself but if she had the uh, the correct upbringing she wouldn't be having those thoughts or the feelings and um, what she does now religious and she feels like you know she doesn't have to apologize but she told me that she apologized to allah or she you know, she talked to Allah and Allah forgave her. And I was like, that's weak as hell. You lost money as part of a romance scam. How was it that the scam... So, yeah. I moved on from that. But I stopped selling because I realized that it did come from a place of trauma. Mm. Um, mm. And uh, I stopped older niggas because I realized that that came from like a daddy issue type of thing. So, I'm healing and I'm... You know, I'm very self-aware, but I ain't, I ain't no, no victim. I'm not going to carry it like I'm a victim. Right. You know, right. keep it moving. I do respect that she's got um, a very strong personality. Um, she's lived, and um, whatever trauma she's been through, she's trying to resolve it. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I could see in her face, in her eyes, that um, she loves life. But a lot of things happened. That happened, and when I was like 15, I was I was like I was in a little gang bang with like eight grown men. One time, it was crazy. Wow. And then yeah, <laughs> I was on a I was on house arrest, and I was supposed to go to this anger management class, and I didn't go. I went to this gas station, and these niggas picked me up that I didn't know, and I went to their house. They gave me Grey Goose and orange juice. I never had that, and I was, and they just, it was just kept, niggas kept coming in, 
And then at one point I looked up, it was just niggas standing around me. It was crazy. But they knew I was 15, though. Mm -hmm. That's, like, something that I always stress. Every nigga knew how old I was, and they didn't give a fuck. So. Because they feel like, well, I don't know what the fuck they feel like, because I would know. Jesus, that's just unbelievable. Um, yeah, that's enough to, even though she was, what, 14, 15, that's enough to traumatize um, any um, young woman in that um, situation, you know? But um, obviously a mindset before that, oh, I just want a good time, I want a party, is made to think it's normal due to her upbringing. Jesus, that's crazy. That really is. I feel so sorry for her. I'm gonna do no shit like that. I said, I was in. I be looking back. Like, I came to the realization that I was fing pedophiles. I'm like, God damn. When I look back, like, now that I'm self aware and in, you know, engaged in self healing, I look back and it's like, I a lot of pedophiles. And it's crazy. You just never know who's a pedophile. Well, I don't post my kids on the internet or nothing because you just never know. So. That's pretty deep that what she said at the end of the day a lot of people that abused her were pedo um, uh, pedophiles and into pedophilia that is just um, shocking it really really is at the end of the day and she's right sometimes y y you think people are good but they're trying to uh, basically take advantage um, of you and mold you into the, their way of thinking so they can get what they want oh. Pedophiles, um, it sounds like pedophiles are more common in our community than we may know it. Definitely. And in family. So just growing up, there was a lot of rape, incest, and molestation in my family growing up. And, you know, like I said, you know, that was a situation my mom placed us in because she knew that those type of situations happened. But she still let us go over there. Like, she forced us to be over there. So it's kind of crazy. Okay. Yeah. I've actually heard a lot about this. Um, I had a, um, a girlfriend of mine who actually brought her up, someone I used to go to school with, and um, she said that used to happen a lot um, with her family, but, you know, luckily nothing happened to her. And it was, it was quite traumatic what she was saying, but um, I do definitely think um, it does happen um, a lot uh, with, 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 with black families at the end of the day, but a lot of people don't want to talk about it. But um, I've heard a lot of stories which I think, wow, you would never have thought it, you know, because I think people try to move on and try to block it out. But, you know, that pain and um, must always be there at the end of the day because, like I said, you know... It, there's people who brought up who actually think it's normal, but it's not. It's far from normal. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But you live and you learn. And I feel like that generational curse has been broken with not just me, but with my siblings. Like, we're not going for that. So. You know, just for £2.50 a week, that's less than the price of a cup of coffee. You can protect your life. So, it sounds like at some point there was uh, something that clicked in your head that said, okay, I need to change the type of life that I'm living. Yes. Well, not really the life that I'm living, but it was just like, I was mad. I was in a really dark space. Mm -hmm. I was homeless, like in 2020, um, I got evicted and I was in an Airbnb and I was manifesting really hard. And it's like, you have to heal during manifestation. You can't just, just ask for something and get it. Like you have to do the work. And I was doing a lot of self-work. I was high as hell doing drugs. But through that self-work, I realized a lot of things about myself. And I had to let a lot of things go. I stopped selling ass. You know what I'm saying? I stopped, you know, being very promiscuous and, you know, seeking a lot of attention from random males. She's smart because, like I said, she's looking at it. She came, you have to come off out of the scene to heal. You have to be around uh, um, people who are totally against what you're doing to actually see the light. Yes, she's got children, and I respect that, and she doesn't want want them to have the same upbringing she did, um, which is very, very, very crucial. She, you can see she's done a lot, a lot of healing, 
at the end of the day, very, very strong and motivational as well. I can see that. And that um, she wants to help others too. I just, but I went through a really dark place with that because I didn't understand how to make money outside of selling my body. Like it was very difficult. That change is hard. So how long were you selling ass? Since I was 15. So 15 to like 25. Okay. 15 to 26. So I stopped in 2021. In the beginning of 2021, it's the last time. And it was $3,500. But it wasn't good. And I realized, like, this is not what you're supposed to be doing. Like, you could do something else. So then I started doing comedy. Hmm. And people always said I was funny, but... I was just like, you can't make money off doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> but now here I am, making money off it. <laughs> yeah, your story is crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Your story is crazy. It's, it's a black... His story is very, very deep. Um, but what it does show is that if you want to do something else in your life, you can and don't ever t um, let people tell you you can't, whether it's family or friends and you're dedicated and it's something you're passionate about doing it, I'd say go for it. I really, really do at the end of the day. If it's obviously legitimate, it's going to um, uh, basically um, bring you in money, bring you in success. Look, at the end of the day, she's put herself out there. She's a funny person. She's a comedian now. Um, she's obviously in a better place for it and she's met real people that is very very important to have real people around you who support you for not what you look like um basically not uh having sex with man she's for you or trying to get something out for you for just being a good friend and uh basically it seems like she's met those people blessing to hear you know it's a blessing to hear it come from the horse's mouth you feel Thank you've been you, doing man. a lot of stuff i just want people to not feel sorry but I want you to watch your kids and definitely put yourself in a position to where you can monitor your kids because a lot of times these mothers the father is gone these mothers have to work hard the child is unsupervised and it's like that's a dangerous situation especially nowadays back then it was kind of dangerous not everything was so accessible but nowadays it's, it's too much access mm -hmm. for children to be unsupervised for sure. just with the internet for sure. It's crazy, like. For sure. It, so. She's right. It's so deep these days that kids can find anything they want, adult conversations, different videos about different things, um, gang crime, um, sex education. You know, there's massive, massive things on the internet. At the end of the day, it's not just um, uh, uh, basically you know youtube is many many other sites that kids go on at the end of the day they can look at porn it's so easy to get access um and uh basically not have a password to see these things it's pretty deep these days what these kids can act you know get access to very very quickly i, I shelter my daughter way too much and there's a lot of stuff she just doesn't even know and i i feel like she's way too green so i try to put her in like a an all black um, elementary school so she can learn, you know what I'm saying, from them. But she's so green, like it's crazy how green she is. Somebody could kidnap her because she just, she think everything is bubble gum and lollipops and, and butterflies, it's crazy. Hello, this is the Pocket Prepaid MasterCard. Here's how it works. Now, do you ever think of the day she'll wander upon one of your videos? I speak to my daughter about everything. Okay. I've caught her watching porn before, and I explain to her, like, I whoop her ass. But I hold explain on, hold to on. her. So you caught her watching porn? Mm -hmm. And you whooped her ass? I whooped her okay. ass, yeah. And then I explain to her why it wasn't a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Because um, she, she really sees, like, the glamour. She knows that a lot of people know me, and a lot of kids feed off of that. Like, just now, a lot of kids are... Uh, building self-worth based off of likes, views, and things like that. They're not really, it's not really coming from their parents or their, you know what I mean, themselves. So I let her know, like, I was exposed on the internet, and that's why I got into porn. This wasn't like, oh, you just start doing porn because, you know what I'm saying, somebody exposed me. And so I was just like, F it, you know what I'm saying, let me just get into it. But this is something where 
my body's going to be on the internet for my whole life. It's never going to come down. People are never going to forget that I was sucking online. Or so I tell her like, look, at least she's honest with it. Um, because like I said, a lot of you know, a lot of people would hide their past and be embarrassed about it. But it's out there now. She's done it. But I look at it like this: um, that she's done what she's had to do. She's been through some traumatic times. She's come through it now. She knows that she can. You can never go back on what you've done, even if the, you, you you know you were in the porn game. At the end of the day, but like I said, it's how you turn your life around, and that's what people look at, and whether you can stay on the straight and narrow. It's not really the right decision to make. You know what I mean? And I just tell it like you have. I do this so you can have whatever opportunity you can do whatever you want to do whatever you want to do i'll pay for that but the the last thing that i want her to do is what i do and i don't think that she will because what i do comes from a place of trauma a lot of sex workers are sex workers because of trauma and poverty so you don't really see too many people at the top just jumping into porn unless they want to get to the next level of things you know what i'm saying so all i can do is be there for her and, and create a space to where her father is uh, successful so that she can look at him and, and feel like, I want a man like that, not look at me and be like, I want to be like. Very, very smart. She's, you know, she's got a brilliant way of thinking and um, thinking that um, obviously um, she's got a father in her life. Uh, her child sees that and it's a balance um, which she knows the child needs that she didn't have. And so she's making sure her child don't miss out on that. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing at the end of the day. I can see that um, Janice is um, a, a, a good mother and she will, uh, and she's finding peace. I don't think you can ever fully find peace in what she's been through, but she's happy and you can find other ways to get through it sometimes you must have hard days thinking jesus what happened to me that people do who's been through terrible things like her you know what i mean it's important that her father is there especially during this stage she's 10 years old so it's like right here he needs to be there like 10 years old going up yeah he has to be there making decisions so yeah so a deep deep uh basically um, story uh, on this uh, young lady so I hope she keeps on the straight and narrow and um, she's turned her life around and many people can do that many people have been through um, hard times uh, but it's great and it's heartfelt to see them come out of the other side uh, brilliantly and a daughter being brought up well anyway don't forget to subscribe to streamline entertainment and like the video thank you very much and thank you for the old subscribers and the new subscribers who support me. Thank you.